Chris Knight, the Einstein of the 80s. What are you doing out there? Floating, sir. His IQ is higher than most people can count. Have you ever seen a body like this before in your life? She happens to be my daughter. Well, then I guess you have. When they steal his pet project, he turns getting even into a science. Roger. <laughs> Real genius. Rated PG. Special sneak preview Saturday night. Hello, fellow followers, and welcome back to Fan Scene. Greg here, and today I have for you my 4K movie review of a movie I've been really looking forward to get on 4K, and that would be Real Genius, starring Val Kilmer. I have absolutely loved this movie since I was a kid. I used to rent this movie constantly, constantly. I really connected with a lot of the characters in this movie because, believe it or not, when I was growing up, I was a bit of a smart child. I was on honor roll and everything. Not that I was a genius. I was not a genius, but I was rather smart, and uh, I oftentimes connected with characters in movies like this or Revenge of the Nerds and uh, this movie I just I love so much and uh, I j I've just enjoyed it throughout the years and it was when it was announced on 4k I didn't expect that and I was really glad to be able to get it so uh, first of all I'll just show you off uh, the movie here real quick this is with the slip cover the new slip cover which I kind of like that um, artwork down the front I actually do like that artwork on the front there a lot so there's the front and uh, here's the back for you guys yeah, and uh, it's just really great. And then that's a slip. And then here's the the cover. Let's see if I can get it without the glare for you guys. Um, not too fond of this one. I would have preferred the original VHS cover art. Well, that's not the original VHS there, but it's pretty much a similar VHS cover art right there uh, with Val Kilmer on the front there. Th not that this is bad. It's just uh, I think I kind of like what I like the original. But once again, there's the uh back. I don't want to glare. There you go. And uh, the transfer on this is really, really great. Enjoyed the movie, watching it again. It was like watching it for the first time all over again. I've seen it so many times. It was just great. The transfer is great. The image is, you know, it pops. A, the Dolby Atmos sounds really good. Uh, just it's, it's just a great, fun time at the movies. And uh, for those who don't know what the movie is about, essentially it's about this kid, Mitch, who is a genius. And uh, he gets picked by uh, William Atherton, who is an excellent actor at playing the asshole in a movie from Die Hard to uh, Ghostbusters to <laughs> all types of movies like this. I mean, I've always heard he was like one of the nicest men in in Hollywood at that time and well still is. But uh, basically, you know, he's a he's a genius. Mitch is a genius. Jerry uh, William Atherton is a genius. He picks him to come work on this later project. That's his college. Uh, there he, uh, Mitch gets roomed with Chris Knight, played by Val Kilmer in a great performance. I would say Tombstone in this is probably Val Kilmer's two of his greatest performances performances uh, amongst the many and so you know Mitch pretty much is uh, this like you know nerdy nerd genius and, he, and he's a little awkward and uh, Chris Knight, Val Kilmer, he, you know, he's been through it all. He's a senior. He's smart. He was supposed to be the next 80s Einstein. And so he kind of teaches Mitch how to let loose and have fun. And Mitch kind of teaches uh, Chris how to be, you know, how to achieve something again, how to how to do what you want to do. And it really plays out nice. And they're basically tricked into creating this uh, weapon laser for the government uh, for a secret, like, organiz uh, military thing and without being told what they're doing. And in the end, you know, it's a, you know, very... 80s. Uh, it has multiple 80s uh, montages in it, which was really great. The music, I love that. And uh, you know, and, and they get the revenge. And who can forget the popcorn scene when they use the laser to make that giant uh, amount of popcorn in uh, William Atherton's Jerry's house? And it's just so great. It's got so many great bits in this. It's it's hilarious. It's funny. It's well acted. It's well paced. It's very 80s. Uh, it's an 80s sci-fi, as far as my concerned. What do you guys think? You guys think this is an 80s sci-fi movie? I think it's an 80s sci-fi movie. I think it fits right in there with that. Uh, especially with technology, laser, and everything. So it's great. I really love the 80s vibe, and it, you know, was in the 80s. Val Kilmer is just freaking hilarious in this, I, and it's so cool to go back and see him at, like this in his prime, and just the whole cast work together, and uh, the guy that lives in her closet, oh man, I can't remember his name. Does it say his name on the back of this? Um... I don't remember, but he's from uh, Napoleon Dynamite and so many other things. You know, he's the Uncle uh, Rocco. Uh, was that his name? Rico? Rocco? I can't remember from the Napoleon Dynamite. He lives in her closet. He was a genius, too. It's just a fun movie. It was a fun time uh, reliving this movie again. And the special features are um, the, bal the balloon chair deleted scene, which is shown in that little teaser I showed you there. And multiple old trailers for this, you know, but it was never in it. So it's got that and it's got... Um, 
uh, new takes, where the, or raw takes, I mean raw takes, not new takes, raw takes, and it's got the TV version of the film, which I have not got to the TV version of the film yet, which I'm looking forward to get to it. I'm really glad they're putting TV uh, versions of films in these movies once again, because uh, it's something that a lot of us grew up on with, which I've talked about here on my channel before, because a lot of times some of us may have grown up with the TV version and not the theatrical version, and I think that's where some of the discrepancies about remembering films differently come from. So it's cool to be able to go back and see it. Not that a TV version is going to be better than that. It's not, but it, typically they have different scenes that were added in or scenes that were taken out, different takes in the movie. And it's fun to hear how they try to replace the cuss words. Not that the, I don't think there's any really cussing in this, but there is certain things like when they the nerdy blonde haired uh, bully kid, you know, who they put things in his, uh, abrasive, in his braces and they act like he's talking to Jesus. And he, Are you touching yourself, Kent? <laughs> so, yeah, that's a scene in the movie. It's fun. But like the clarity of this movie was great. The bright scenes were bright. The dark was night dark. And it, sometimes it really felt like you were like looking out a window in certain scenes in this movie. That's how great the transfer was. Not that there aren't a few hiccups here and there, but nothing really bad or noticeable. It's just a really good, clear, quality 4K transfer, great sound, and also the final special feature is commentary with director Martha Kulich, who also directed, um, if I believe, uh, Fast Times at Ridgemont High. And uh, it looks like all the special features are on the Blu-ray, because this comes with the 4K disc is with just the movie, and then the Blu-ray comes with all the special features, and I do believe the Blu-ray is the new 4K transfer as well, too. So if you have not picked this up, or if you're looking forward to it, if you want to make up your mind, I, I would say check it out. It's, it's pretty good. It's worth it. But if you don't want to upgrade to 4K, that's okay. I mean, I still have the VHS right here, but I was really glad to get this on 4K, and it was just a great, fun watch all over again. Real genius, 4K. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments section down below. Are you picking it up? Do you remember this movie? Is this is this something that you uh, really enjoyed? Because I really enjoyed it. Let me know all that in the comments section down below. And if you liked what you saw here, please hit that like button, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, join if you want to become a channel member, share the video out for everybody to see, and remember to always support physical media. It is the superior format. Thank you for watching. Wherever you guys are, please have a great, safe, happy, healthy day, morning, afternoon, evening, and night. Godspeed.